Okay, hello, and welcome back with some exciting news. Um, super excited. Uh, update 1.6 is coming to Planet Zoo. Uh, June 22nd. I'm trying to get this video out kind of quickly. I apologize, it was a little bit late, and by late, I mean it was, like, really late. Anyways, so, uh, we have, um, some updates we're just gonna go right in. So, um, we have, so we have bear updates. We've got a few updates for the bear. Uh, in 1.6, you know that the polar bear has been a long discussed uh, topic for the planet as a community, and we've done more research into to the uh, current holdings of polar bears uh, to make them find a way to make them more viable picks for the zoo. Let me look, look at the details here. So, um, it's okay, so we'd like to give you an update on where the polar bears and the future update will be changing the requirements. Uh, so I'm Killian. Okay, so we're gonna. Killian here is gonna say talk about how we're gonna do this. So, uh, polar bears have always been a kind of, an iconic animal. We definitely want to see them represented in Planet Zoo. Our researches into this animal has shown us that this is one of the most uh, hotly debated captive species with zoological, zoological and ethical standards for their exhibit space, widely very widely varying uh, between organizations and institutions. Numbers ranging between five hundred and 8,000 per animal, which is crazy, like five, 8,000 square meters is huge, like that's, that's huge, <laughs> um, so that's like, hang on, that's, how long is that, so if it'd be, uh, if, if, if it was, I guess you can't, get, never mind, you can't really calculate that, um, anyways, um, so we're, we're not adding a new animal to the roster. We identify we identify a specific gameplay challenge for each species, and then uh, balance our needs accordingly, such as enrichment requirements, specific terrain, food costs, or habitat space, all that stuff. Uh, based on our aforementioned learnings, I had never seen that word before about captive polar bears. It was clear to reflect the world, real world debates uh, that a good challenge would be for this uh, to create a properly sized exhibit. Now that's hard, really <laughs> hard to do. Um, but yeah, so for this, we oriented ourselves on a higher end, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to skip through this, because here it is. So, um, uh, it says here that they their land space reduced uh, to 3,250. Okay, that's about half. Uh, and then 650 for each additional animal. That's, that's not that bad. And then some water space requirements, uh, and then that. And then... Okay, so it's just the same, basically. So just the land that, and then they change this a bit. Uh, so they're gonna have to, they're adding new toys. Or they're gonna have to, you're gonna have to change up the toys and stuff. Anyways, back to the uh, update. So that's, that's one of the things coming. Uh, but we're going to, uh, uh, they're gonna add deep swimming. So um, another deep, more deep swimming animals are going to be added. So actually, I, uh, I didn't do this on YouTube, but I did predict that what they would do is uh, they would, um, what they would do is they would, like, release updates, um, uh, every so often, and each update would have, uh, a certain amount of animals added to the thing. <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know how I guessed that, and I got it correct, like, yeah, I was, like, crazy, I, I, I don't even know how I got that. But you can see here's a picture of the grizzly bear that is swimming. Uh, I think it's gonna really, it's going to be really cool to see these guys, uh, swimming underwater. Especially the polar bears. I'm really excited for the polar bears because they're very iconic and they, they like to swim. Um, anyways, we have custom auto speakers. Okay, so you can pick various speakers that you're using and then say what they want to play. And then you can copy the perfect audio scape. They have some uh, uh, preset frontier tracks, but you also have a select country tracks. And then all that stuff. Okay, so yeah, just like just like the, um, um, the, 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 what, what are they called? Update uh, 1.5 out of the, uh, the custom billboards. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, now you can have the custom auto speakers. And now that's all the files you can use. Lots of, lots of stuff. Anyways, uh, they're also adding Vista points. Oh, good. Um, so, Planet Coaster Veterans will know you that this will know. Uh, the Planet Coaster Veterans among you will know that this one. will know this one. Uh, we are bringing Vista points to Planet Zero. With a Vista point, you can help guide your guests to recommended locations uh, and to view wonder habitats and focal points in your zoo while they will give uh, to the location 
while they w will default to the location you point them in, you can also direct your guests to a specific focus as well, such as a piece of scenery provided. Doing so will leave your guests feeling appreciative of your efforts and then reward them with small happiness for interacting with it. Okay, so that's actually really important. Um, because that, that does actually play with, like, the management and, like, guest happiness as well. Because, number one, it, it'll help change the, um, the traffic. And number two is that annoying thing when they say, um, uh, if the, the view from the, of the blah, blah, blah from here is fine. Like, that alert is, um, just, just never fun to read. Um, one thing I did forget to do, to do is you always have to look through the pictures, the screenshots, to look through if there's any new plants you can see. I think that's just the date palm. Uh, I don't see any other new plants. So, um, yeah. We're dismissed for African daisies. Yeah, I don't see any new plants. Um, but anyway, so yeah, they the Vista points. Um, you can also tell them that which one's gonna help. Okay, so I'm kind of like skimming through this. There's gonna be a new time scenario. So you tra uh, travel to Central America for our newest free time scenario. This one has something a little different for you. Take charge of an animal sanctuary where you receive new animals on a regular schedule in need of your care and attention. Some have arrived uh, before you. Some have arrived even before you. Have even, some even arrived before you. Give me focus right away. This scenario is all about the animals you save and their welfare. You see reflected in the. Okay. Oh, a chimpanzee statue. Okay, that's gonna be nice. I'm excited for that. Uh oh, habitat cameras. That's gonna be cool. Uh, there's a new feature. Uh, you can see a bit closer to the animals and enclosures. The new camera asset. To find this, go to uh, visual media. Okay, f go to those facilities, media devices, and education, and then visual media. And these cameras can be placed wherever you like and used however you like. Although the best place, although one of the best places is for them as in within your habitat. Once there, you'll be able to view the habitat using the camera just the camera itself, just like a webcam in the zoo in real life. Much like real life as well, planetconians love to see their favorite animals. Uh their favorite to see their favorites from home as well as at the zoo. So you'll be able to gain some marketing bonus. Oh that's cool. For up to for up to six cabinet cameras in your zoo, but they will need to be a range of habitats for the stovefy. That's cool, so it'll actually help you if you have cameras set up. And it's really cool. Look at that like view, like a look at night vision. It's a really, really cool. They're also adding camera effects. Now we're getting from uh, vignettes to a uh, various levels of warmth, cold, and night vision too. You'll be able to you find a bespoke button in the UI for accessing this. It will also provide access to a camera light as well, which is especially great for listening, night, looking not the night vision shots for looking just right. For avid photographers, fills the, these filter will be made while using when using the Nvidia. And so, okay, that's good. Um, and then we can't wait to see what you show your screen share with these new tools. So you can see here's like a little bit of my new. And uh, this one right here, this one looks really, really cool. Well, just the overly saturated one. I don't know, I like that one. It's like orangey. Animal trading up changes. We'll make a few changes to animal trading. Increasing the storage limit from 50 to 200. Yes! Okay, so the, for those of you guys that are new here, because of course you guys are going to be new. Uh, or I, I assume it's going to be a bunch of new people here looking at this new update. Um, we have a Let's Play. You should go watch it. There might be a card right now. Uh, hang on. Will there be a card right now? Let's let's see. Uh, yeah, there might be a card. We're nine minutes and four. Remember that. Um, but anyways, so yeah, there might be a card. Go watch that series. Uh, but anyways, we have a big problem in that our... <laughs> Our storage is 100% full, and so our next big project is making a giant African plains habitat, but we can't do that uh, with what we, the space we have. Uh, and I actually have a few record I gotta edit, uh, so you guys haven't seen those ones yet. Uh, this is coming out on Monday, and those are gonna come out Tuesday, Wednesday. Anyways, um, but yeah, my, the trade center is full, and we need to put the so the animal, we, we can't put the animals anywhere, anywhere, anywhere yet. Um, so this is going to really help. 200 is like three, four times that amount. So we'll have a bunch of space and then we'll be able to add in uh, more stuff. And that helps with modding as well because we mod the game. Um, so, or yeah, we mod the game here. And then 
so that'll really help uh with that and yeah just go watch go watch it there's probably a playlist somewhere put it in the cards probably i probably didn't add one in <laughs> Uh, anyway, so as well as updates in the UI that will give you more information about each animal's training status. Okay, that's good. We're also including search. <gasps> yes, you can search the animal storage. Oh yes, and then you can uh, filter through and see what you want to see. Um, okay, so you're looking for specific genetic makeup. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And these will print out the same to you, but you can easily reset it with. Let's click a button, and then they'll be really in all okay, so they'll be basically available anywhere, which will be really, really, really good. Uh, what else we got? Um, staff management changes. Uh, in the previous update, we rolled out some staff management changes a little too fast, and so we averted this so we could work on a little bit longer. We're happy to release them soon in update 1.6. These will create category categories for each type of staff so that you can toggle to be classed and. This will be remembered within each save, as well as the ability to multi select your staff to just wages. Okay, that's good. Um, these will these will changes help those with bigger suits and have a much easier time managing all of our diligent staff. Okay. Um, continue your zooing campaign scenarios. Many zookeepers have shared with us how they love to continue their zoos they create in the career scenarios. So we've added a small change once players achieve a gold status in the scenario. A family will pop up to you for you that the uh, and, and the animal exchange will start to populate with all available animals. This means you can continue to play. Um, you can continue to play this career scenario now, scenario park that you've built up, and love without, you build up on love without any limitations on which species appear. Okay, good. So you can like once you complete it, you can go even above and beyond that and just like do whatever you want. And it'll be really good. And then for like sandbox settings, not so you really do that much. Maybe we'll get into some sandbox sandbox. Probably will at some point. Uh we're introducing a whole new host of sandbox options. These will give you the option to even more control over sandbox use. And it'll organize some even more. Okay, so you can what? So you can enter an alarm mode. Uh or save your save oh okay, so you can save custom settings. These will be available in the default preset, creative preset, challenge preset. Or save for custom reset. Okay, cool. Um, I must read. <laughs> okay, hang on. So here's here's what you will to do. So you can social welfare. I'm I'm confused at that, but it's okay. You guys can if you guys can explain it in the comments to me, that'd be really helpful. Anyway, so you can have the social welfare. So that's good. So overcrowding would be good. Uh, stress, fights, predation, and fear. Habitat welfare. Uh, oh, you can like uh, disable them from going to the bathroom. Uh, and then water cleanliness. And then you can. Okay, so you can enable certain stuff like all that stuff. That's actually really good. Uh, enable. You can enable escapes. Oh! What? Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Enable guest fleeing, uh, enable guest effect of fill- <gasps> Oh, I'm really- <laughs> that stupid thing. Uh, but yeah, so that's- And then they say they're gonna be reward share with you very soon, so keep your eyes peeled. So yeah, that's all we have, uh, so far, uh, with the updates and stuff. Now, that doesn't mean that's all we're gonna get, because they say- uh, very soon they're gonna be adding stuff and uh, if we look at our calendar uh, if we look at our calendar uh, if we look at a calendar like uh, can we just call it like, calendar will work Google calendar I can this one in okay uh, 2021 calendar so okay so yeah we'll just use this um, yeah okay so January, July, June to the 22nd is a Tuesday. So today is the 14th that I'm recording this and it came out. So you guys are seeing this on the 14th. So the next pack will likely not be an animal pack. We actually know it's going to be in the pack. So it's not going to be an animal pack. So they'll have four animals to go over. I assume we'll get the, the release that there's going to be a pack. So we'll get the announcement trailer on the 15th. And then on the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, we will go get all the animals, or and 20, 20th, we'll get all the animals, and potentially, I don't know how they're going to do that, 
and then the 21st is going to be like a day off and nothing's going to happen and then the 22nd the pack's going to release and then we'll get some stuff or uh we won't get anything tomorrow or we'll, and then we'll get it on the 16th and then we'll have we'll get information on the pack on the 16th 17th and then on the 17th we'll get an animal 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 and the 20th we'll get another animal and then the 22nd we'll the back will release uh but yes we're definitely getting a dlc uh it's gonna be we already know what it's gonna be um because of accidental data mining um so yeah but i'm really excited for this update i think it's gonna be some really cool stuff i'm excited for the polar bears being able to die and then i'm also kind of the vista points that's gonna be really nice so you can kind of move the guests around and then i'm also excited for the uh the stat the animal trading changes so yeah, it's kind of like a sm and then this is gonna be cool too. Like all this stuff is gonna be cool. Um, we might also do the um the time scenarios. That'd be cool. We might do we might do a time scenario. Um, and then yeah, so all this stuff is gonna be really cool. Kind of a small a smaller update, uh, in terms of like stuff that's in it. But at the same time, like <laughs> to be fair, there's nothing really else I can think of that would need to be added other than this. Like the biggest thing. I could see it would be like burrowing, but at the, that that point as well. Like, I still don't think that that that's, that'd be hard to do as well because then animals have to edit the terrain and then you have to say, well, what animals can they edit to escape? And then it just go crazy and it'd be really hard. But that's the really only thing. And then I guess flying would be the only other mechanic, which uh, is probably coming here soon. I assume. I mean. The other thing, kind of, let's go over more news, because, you know, this episode's only, like, 15 minutes long, and uh, we have some more stuff to go over, because Frontier uh, just released that they're going to be uh, doing, uh, uh, no, not the first one, they're going to be making a sequel to Jurassic World Evolution 2, uh, so we can go to their website and just see uh, what's happening. Um, so we have... Uh, a very different world, blah blah blah. Basically, it's gonna be, it's gonna, they, th we don't know exactly what's happening. Oh, uh, the biggest thing I think we have that just shows the most is if you come to the news, they have this thing here. You can click on that one, and then you can go through this. This is the biggest thing. So, based on the uh, Universal Pictures Blossoms are filmed, so the Jurassic World franchise. Um, I still find this funny, the groundbreaking and beloved that one. Like it's 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 a good game, but at the same time, it's like Planet Zoo is sometimes better. <laughs> like at the same time, but I think this is we think that this is gonna be better than Planet Zoo, or it's gonna be the same as Planet Zoo. Um, but we know it's gonna have uh marine animals, and we know it's gonna have like you can. So, okay, we'll go through here. So, it's a brand new, immersive, and it both vocal voiced by cast members so across the Jurassic World film, fi fi film franchise. Accepted new features for engaging game modes and an enhanced and expanded roster of our dinosaurs. Jurassic World Evolution 2 provides a fans with everything they need. Uh, give me a second. Provides them with everything they need. Uh for instance, with everything they need to create authentic and come like Jurassic World experiences. Uh, they'll leave the Mortis Muertes archipelago for the first time, build their own authentic Jurassic worlds across for diverse environments in dense, from dense forests to scorched deserts in efforts to conserve and contain more than 75 prehistoric kingdoms. These include all new flying and marine uh, uh, reptile and marine repti reptiles brought to you with captivating realism and the They'll display brand new behaviors as well as interact with each other, fight for dominance, and react intelligently with the world around them. In Jurassic World 2, players dive into an original uh, player campaign featuring iconic film actors for the role, uh, uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm, and then blah blah blah. Chaos Theory uh, is a Chaos Theory mode, it's an another major addition. It offers a reimagined take on the pivotal role from the Jurassic World from franchise as players strive to make their own mark and the course of events. Elsewhere, look for creativity, for those looking to unleash their creativity, Sam Lux delivers everything players need to uh, create the perfect park while challenge one test their mastery of the game. So, construction 
So is it? They haven't really said anything about how it's gonna work and like gameplay and stuff. Uh, but if it's like Planet Zoo, we might play it. I mean, marine animals is certainly cool, like mosasaurus and stuff. I have. Yeah, I think we, we might get into it. But this is another game by Frontier, so we might check this one out too. But yeah, I think that's gonna kind of do it for this episode. Hopefully we get some more news on the DLC here soon. I'm not gonna be able to upload videos as soon as the DLC is gonna be announced. Probably around this time every day. Uh, it's when this stuff is gonna be announced, so. Yeah, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And then go watch um, our modded Let's Play, our newest series. I also apologize for not uploading yesterday. I was kind of busy. So yeah, but I uh, think, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in uh, the next video.